morning to everyone that is checking in with us. This is the 2023 US Open Wave Ski Competition, Junior World Wave Ski and the East Coast Wave Ski Competition, all in one today. A beautiful day. We have not a breath of wind for right now. Waves are not that great right now, but rideable. Stay tuned. Well, the level of surfing is quite impressive, actually. Uh, we had one competitor yesterday. During the opening rounds, there was like a lot of like good scores, you know, like six sevens, maybe even some eights. But one guy got this one wave where he did an actual blow tail. He took off, did like a little check turn on it, then went up and hit it, threw the tail out, slid down the face of the wave, and landed with a lot of speed. That wave went into the nine five right there. The, the younger guys definitely have uh, breathed a lot of new life into the sport here, and it's impressive. Um, one, of, one of my guys that's judging for me has never judged this and is not really familiar with wave skis, and he was excited as heck on some of these good scores. I think this is probably the hottest competition I have ever attended. <laughs> I've lived here my whole life, and this whole week has been like the, the hottest temperature uh, I, I can ever remember and the level of competition in this wave ski event. I, I've judged a few of the, the level of competition. This is hot too, man. So I would describe this contest as being hot as heck. <laughs> Well, the tide had pushed in, we started 30 minutes earlier, so we bought ourselves about an hour and a half of a higher tide. Um, and I'm looking at today and I'm seeing, instead of just one big move each day that we've had, I believe we can get actually two moves in today. So we could actually come down to off the top and then get some speed 
and then come around and maybe get the flick going. Previously we were getting, it was so low tide, we were trying to get off the bottom and as we were getting off the bottom, we were, we were losing a lot of speed, so we would just come up and get the nose up and sometimes you get the tail around, but it's been really tough the last two days and I believe, um, you know, the ocean is now, there's a bit of a, a wind coming cross on, which is creating like a little bit of a, a second wave coming through. So that's causing a little bit of a pocket over here. So we, if you're in the right place, the right time, you're gonna get this little pocket to run through. support so everybody was enthusiastic you know we, we probably had the worst surf you ever want for a competition but you guys never stopped and you never complained you went out there you surfed in knee high uh, surf and you landed with your fins in the sand and you carried on and you know what that makes it so worthwhile. I'm so grateful for all of you that, that took part in this competition. Every one of you that served. Not everybody wins, but everybody was a winner. First place. The guys that served off in the man on man in the final, Enzo and uh, Victor, the best of friends, best of rivals, always in the water, both excellent, excellent whiskey servers. You're going to see a lot more of these two guys in the future. Yeah. So, third in, in the World Junior World Cup, Steven the Box. Victor Bazaar. And the winner of the first Junior World Cup ever in wave ski surfing, Enzo Montfort. Beautiful, beautiful trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your two more companies.